right there. <laughs> no way. Two fish on the graph, we got both of them to bite. All right, well, we are back with another video. Look at this day out here on Leech Lake. It's probably been about four or five hours since we filmed the video this morning, caught a whole bunch of fish. Since then, we've caught a few more fish on some other spots. But for the most part, we've just kind of been driving around looking. And, um, you know, some spots have fish, some spots don't have fish. And the kind of the consensus is, is that when it's this flat calm out, out on a lake like Leech, is that they just kind of, they're gonna spread out a little bit. There'll be these little pods of fish running around some of these big flats. They don't really lock down to a piece of structure and they're super like timid. You know, you gotta be basically right in those fish to catch them. So we're gonna do this kind of sharpshooting video again and just show how effective it is. Now this spot, I mean, how long is this flat? Five miles. Five miles. So if you were to drift or troll, you'd be, it takes so long to get in front of these fish, it'd almost be ridiculous. So like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the Minn Kota and uh, we're just going to start flying around with it looking for these tight pods of fish and we'll do a better job of showing you guys what these pods look like on 360 on side imaging on this video and then we're going to short pitch to them and hopefully catch some walleyes that's kind of been the game plan all day so we'll definitely catch some and uh, this is the pattern that you can make um, that turns not a lot of fish into a lot of fish and uh, it's kind of almost like um, you know not like a shooting fish in a barrel effect but you're trying to you know eliminate all the water there's not fish cruise around look for those small pods of fish and pitch a bait into them really quick and that's exactly what we're going to do today. And me and Steve are going to be using the, just the, your classic setup, your jig and a minnow. Elliot 7.3 medium light jigging rod with the Pissy Fun Alloy X or Carbon X on there. And I'll go ahead and link all the products down below. And uh, that's as simple as it's going to be. So we're going to get them encoded down, start cruising around, looking for some of these fish on uh, you know, side imaging and 360. And then make these isolated pitches right into them. You know, like I said, we fished at one spot this morning that had a bunch of fish on it. And as the day's gone on, these fish have really spread out and got a lot more negative. So this is the absolute key time to be fishing this way. So stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Look at that right there. <laughs> Fish on. All right, well, number one. There we go. And you guys can basically see what we're doing. You know, the same style of fishing where we're just, you get weather like this and it seems like these fish really scatter around. And it takes a lot of these areas we're used to just kind of be able to spot lock and cast to them. What you end up having to do is almost exclusively kind of sharpshoot these fish like this. And here's kind of, you know, another nice little 17 incher up here, but totally reliant upon the electronics. If you're gonna come out here and fish these huge flats and just hope and pray and drift, it's gonna be a much slower process, especially when conditions look like this. You're just dealing with a lot of this flat, hot, and uh, fishing real shallow water. No way. Two fish on the graph, we got both of them to bite. How's that for precision? <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice one for sure. I'm gonna go under you. Well. A double nice one. <laughs> oh man. Unbelievable. The power of the hummingbird, my gosh. I'm gonna try to scoop crazy. mine up quick. A couple of twins, look at this. Just crazy. Oh, oh my gosh, he just swam out of the net. <laughs> Oh, it was like simultaneous bites too. I got to reel in a little bit. We got to get this double. All right, I got mine. <laughs> I think we marked three and caught two. Yeah, 66% six, efficiency. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is pretty wild. That's Have you ever, cool. Have you ever had second guesses about uh, 
learning to read electronics or just oh getting into the game. I mean, there it is right there. Like Steve said, we literally saw, <laughs> and he says three, like we might have seen three, but it was for <laughs> sure two. And we got both of them to bite, and they're both um, super nice fish. Unbelievable. It's about as good as it gets right there. There we go. Look at that double. I mean, that's as good as it gets right there. Pitching <laughs> jigs way up shallow out here, Leech Lake, and just sniping them off the hummingbird. Look at that. Too awesome. <laughs> Let those ones go and do it again. That's fun. How much ground you'd have to cover to catch these fish drifting or something like that would just be so insane. I don't know if you could actually do it. Look how angry they are. Back they go. Back down to their little <laughs> sand flat. That was awesome. Fun. <laughs> do it again. Cool. Let's fish that out. Right there. <laughs> that one popped it good. I was just saying, man, one of these fish has got to bite. And look how gorgeous that is in this clear water. Middle of the day, catching these fish super shallow in the clear water. That's too awesome. And they are just so angry out here. <laughs> oh, that is too awesome. Now he's all wrapped up. I should just be able to grab him here. You might lose him, but that's all right. That is just too much fun. You know, some of these fish are swatting it good. Other ones are just kind of, you pick up and they're on. Yep. Oh, <laughs> kind of figured I'd lose that one. He was hooked right in the beak, but there we go. You guys can see how effective that is. And uh, we've probably been filming for this clip's about eight minutes. The other ones are probably about, about the same. So we've probably been fishing for about 24 minutes now. And you know, it's not like crazy every single cast fishing, but definitely very effective. He just gave up. <laughs> it was too much for him. He was feeling the, the radiation from the 360 and the side imaging and the 2D, and he just said, I'm not even going to fight you guys. <laughs> there we go. Another walleye, though. Another walleye again. And uh, like I said, just a little 15, 16 enter there. But we just uh, I had that last fish on that we just lost. And we lost that one too, but that's all right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we each kind of rebaited and went back out to start moving around again. And I can see this pod on 360. And I'll go ahead and take a shot for you guys because they're still sitting right there. And, you know, we're not drifting around hardly at all with no wind, obviously. So we can just kind of sit here. And if the fish stay there, you know, then we know to stay here. If the fish are gone, then we obviously just put the trolling motor on 10 or something and keep flying around until we find another pod. But the side imaging is great for finding these fish. 360 is kind of key to making those repetitive casts in them. We got some fish right there. Throttled, absolutely throttled. <laughs> that bite was ferocious. You guys, could, I could probably almost play it back, and you guys might even be able to see the line jump on that one. He bit it so hard. That was awesome. <laughs> there we go. Another nice one. We're kind of surrounded by fish right now. All we're doing is, you know, by surrounded by fish, I mean we're surrounded by six fish, but in two different pods of three fish. <laughs> And we're just making these pinpointed casts right to them. And man, it's just so incredibly effective. And a ton of fun. You know, my opinion, one of the funnest things is when you start incorporating a lot of this stuff. 
um, into your fishing. You know, it makes it just a ton of fun to look at the graph, look at where you are, imagine where those fish are out there, make that pinpoint a cast, feel the line jump, and there we go. There's the reward. Bunch of these leech lake walleyes today. That looks like a guarantee right there, doesn't it? Had to have been a fish. There's just too many there. I almost feel like I'm about to catch one too. That was a pretty decent pot of fish there. In fact, we're still seeing them. Yeah. For some reason, I have not had one find my jig yet. That sounds like a better one. It's kind of the same, huh? Just an angry one. We'll net him, net him so he doesn't come off, just for the video. Make sure we get him. Man, what a fun <laughs> little, little spot this is. <laughs> Tons of fish, man. Leech Lake is just so incredible. I by no means know Leech Lake super well, but what I can tell you is every time I'm out here, I do a lot of driving around generally until I find fish. There we go. That's another, you know, 19 inch up here on Leech. There he goes, back in the water. Just mostly forward, a little sideways. There's a bite. Wow, he dropped. He didn't get it. No, yeah, what we're doing with the jigs is we're not really, it's a nice fish. Yeah. yeah. it's a nice fish. We're not really moving the jig a lot, very linear. Maximum action. In a very small amount of area. Yeah. So I'll take a screenshot of that pod Steve was casting at off the front here. Super nice fish though. I mean, you can never complain with, with this kind of average size. We filmed a video this morning and that was not the normal pot of fish, which I'm used to seeing out here. There's a lot of those kind of 15, 16, 17s. Beautiful fish. In my opinion, it's a lot more of these. These real stocky kind of 19, 20, 21, 22. You know, just a ton of these quality fish up here in Leech. And there's just another one. I'll let him go. Oh man, look at the pot on the other side too. Something's got to happen here. It's going to be real close to the boat. Right there. <laughs> On a roll now. Nice one? Yeah. Man, too, nice. too much fun. That is just crazy, crazy. And to be able to jig them this time of year, even better. Anytime you can get on the shallow water jig bite like this, yeah. Leech always kind of fishes shallow, but normally not very good on days that look like this. Well, maybe. Look at that. Beauty. Maybe. I mean, it just takes patience to find the right pod. Oh yeah, and then and look and look and look, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you find the right. Yeah, we spent it's four o'clock in the afternoon now. We've probably spent equal distance driving as we have fishing. Yeah, I would say. We had trolling rods with the make a third <laughs> at night. Right there, fish <laughs> on. <laughs> oh man, Same just, thing, barely just moving it so slow, you're almost not even reeling. Look at that. Obviously just very, very effective. And uh, yeah, 
not really a whole lot else to say. Our second video we filmed today, kind of doing the same thing. This morning's video we filmed, we were just in a lot bigger pods of fish and we didn't have to sit on them for quite as long to make them bite. And, uh, <laughs> is that a walleye? That is a walleye. And, it, and as you can see, you know, right now with just these conditions out, I mean, it's unbelievable just looking around how cool it looks out here. Flat calm. I can't say I've been on leech too many times and it looks like this. There we go. Just catching walleyes like crazy. Sharp, sharp shooting them off the 360. Not really a whole lot else to say. <laughs> So I think we'll, uh, we might sit here and catch a bunch more. We might move around, but I think we'll end the video like that. You guys have seen how effective this is enough by now, but I appreciate you guys watching. Leech Lake, obviously incredible place to fish. And uh, sometimes the lake makes you look good. And that's definitely the case today. The lake and the electronics combined, you know, on a lot of days you get out, you might have a lot of wind and these fish might be sucked up super tight to this break. You can just spot lock here and wreck them all day whenever you want. Today, when things are tough, making sure you're in those fish, really slowing down and finessing them and using tools like your 360 and the hummingbird to really make sure you guys are doing those two things. Obviously, incredibly productive way to fish. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Like I said in the intro, check out Horseshoe Bay Lodge if you guys want to come up here and stay. Fall fishing on leech, just getting started. There's a lot of season left and uh, plenty of walleyes in the lake to catch. So stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.